sorry. Everything's pretty overwhelming. There's just so much stuff here. And plus, I'm talking to myself, so I look weird. But I'm walking towards the food court now. I just see a big sign that says heat. I like heat, so I'm going to go there. There's so much here, there's no way I'm going to be able to see it all. It's fucking crazy. It's, our, it's just Friday. This is the Artist Alley. Different comic book artists come are here on this part. They sell drawings and all got comic books. So I've been here about three hours. Um, it's a lot of stuff. It's a little overwhelming. Uh, and this is Friday, which is not even a lot of the big, a lot of people aren't even here yet. A lot of the celebrities. Tom Welling canceled for today, so I'm either gonna have to reschedule that or just let it refund because I, I don't know if I'll have the time to get a picture with them Saturday and Sunday because I got all this stuff going on. Went through Artist Road, the Artist Alley. I went through Artist Alley, that was pretty cool. Um, a lot of different artists there. Sometimes it kind of feels weird because they're, they're writing, they're authors who write comic books and you see that they're, they have comic books right, the comic, the work right there in front of them and they're waiting, and some, some of them don't have lines. So you don't want to like make eye contact because you're not sure if you want to buy anything. I just got this soda called Wild Bills and I'm hoping it's really good. Since I paid forty dollars for the soda and this cup, better be the greatest fucking soda ever. They got lucky, real lucky. Uh, I use the first day to kind of go move around and take a look at, at things and kind of try to get a look at everything that they had on the floor. They had tons of different vendors, lots of independent comic books, uh, some smaller known authors who were selling their work, or their books so you could you could buy the book right from them. There was the author Christopher Golden, I believe his name was. Um, I've seen some of his books in Barnes and Noble, uh, so I bought a book from him and he signed it. Um, I felt kind of bad when I went up to him because, not because, um, oh, I didn't know what he looked like, but there was a guy sitting with him and I picked up the book and I said uh, to that guy, I thought it was like his handler, uh, like someone who like handled the money for him or like a manager. And I said, how much? And the guy just pointed to pointed to the the author and goes, he'll take care of it. And he walked back to, to his desk. He was, he was another author that no one was at his table. So he was talking to, uh, to Christopher Golden. I, I feel like a lot of the authors spend time selling, like trying to talk you into buying their book when you're interested in it. Um, but I just, I, I, every time I walk by an author that I was kind of interested in the book, I would just Google it after I walked by him. Uh, then I walked by another author named Tim Baird and he was selling like kind of like a fantasy series and he was actually really cool. He was nice. Um, he was the same thing. I walked up and I was, I Googled his book on Amazon and he had like, uh, maybe a dozen reviews and they were all like five stars. So I walked over. I'm like, "Hey, I want, I want to get this one." He goes, and he goes, "All right." And he's like, "You don't want to be, you don't want to hear the hard sell." I was like, "I, I'm like, I, I googled, yeah, after I walked by you the first time." And uh, he, I think he laughed. And he was like, "Oh, okay." Um, today for Saturday, um, I'm expecting there are going to be a lot more people. Um, hoping I can find decent parking because it parking is fucking expensive in downtown Boston. Uh, as for stuff I bought, I bought a lot of, bought some comics. I got. Mark Miller's Ultimates Volume 1 and 2, which are supposed to be really good. Uh, I'll include a picture of it when I post this. Uh, also, I bought this 
mug that I can get for free. I can get refills now on it now throughout the weekend. It's fucking expensive, but actually I kind of like the cup. Uh, I bought a, a Wolverine glass mug before I even got into the building. Like they had a bunch of like exclusive merchandise that you could buy there, and I needed to buy a lanyard for my pass because so I could keep, just keep it around my neck. Uh, I bought like a Lord of the Rings tote bag to carry my stuff in. I bought a Hercules action figure. Uh, let's see what else did I buy? I bought a Blu-ray bootleg copy of Falcon and the Winter Soldier Part One or Season One because fuck Disney Plus, I'm not giving them any money. I got a free comic book for scanning my badge at some comic at some independent comic guy's place called Postmasters. So I haven't read this yet, but I will. So. I'll include some video of later today. gas line. It's a line for Gina Carano. Tons of people. Got a picture with Gina Crown, she was cool. Spent like 70% of my day so far just waiting in line. Uh, just kind of chilling now, walk around, bar an energy drink. I'm oh, sorry. Until the Hobbits. Next thing you do is wait for the Hobbits discussion. So that's at 7.30, it's about six right now. So I'm just killing time for an hour and a half. That's pretty cool. In line for the Lord of the Rings panel now. Again, gigantic line to wait in. So here's what the line looks like. At the panel for the Lord of the Rings talk, look at the giant crowd that's still filing in. Hopefully I can hear what they're saying, because right now there's an MC warm things up and I can't. I have trouble understanding what he's saying. That was Saturday was just a way way more crowded. I took a few video clips to show some of the crowd, the lines I was waiting in. It was just it's like I, I was there for probably. I don't know, from like, I'd say one, I don't know, about maybe 1.40ish to almost 9 p.m. And I spent probably like a good 70% of my time waiting in lines that day, yesterday. I knew it was going to be bad when I got that downtown and I couldn't find a parking garage to park in. Not, not a parking spot, a parking garage. The first two I went to didn't have anything available and I found a third one that was kind of about a mile away so I had to walk there. But... It wanted to make, making me late for Frank Miller, and I was at the back of a giant line, and I was afraid at first I wasn't going to be able to get his autograph. He actually, like, he, he got through the line. I got there at 1.40ish. I, I got out of his line at about 3.30, so I was almost in, I was in line for almost two hours. And then from there, I went straight to waiting for a picture with Gina Carano. And she had a giant, she had giant groups of people, so they moved pretty quickly. I just told her that I liked Terror on the Prairie, that movie she had that came out. I got, Junk 3PO was there, the YouTuber, he was there with her. I don't know if he helps her out with the conventions, but he was dressed in like a plaid Snuggie. She was super nice. She just walked right up to me and threw her hand around, her arm around my neck and just like got right in for the picture. I was like, I was like, all right. Uh, then I went to wait in line and for the Hobbits after that, once I got rested. 7, 7.30, I, I went to go to the main stage to, to go to the theater, but then... And I thought I was just going to get to walk in. And there's like 500 people there waiting. I was like, oh my god, I'm going to have to wait again. I bought a Hawkeye action figure that looked like Jeremy Renner. 
some kind of energy shake that uh, some guys were selling. I was just really thirsty, so I bought one. The Hobbit panel was okay. Um, I was sitting kind of far on the back. Sometimes I was having trouble understanding what they were saying, especially like Dominic Monaghan, Billy Boyd, because they're they're European, so I couldn't tell. Sometimes I had to like look. I could see them on the stage, but they also had big screens. I had to look at the big screen so I could kind of read their lips with what they were saying and try to put, like pair the audio together. I left before the panel ended because it was like after 8.30 and it was just getting late. Today, today's day three is my last day. I'm pretty much all packed up. I've started putting my stuff in the car. I'm about to check out of my room. Only thing I got to do is uh, get Gina Carano's autograph and Tom Wong's autograph. Um, I kind of, I'm kind of like over it at this point. Like just Saturday wiped me out so much. I'm kind of ready to go home, but... I spent money already to get their autographs, so I'm just gonna go there and get them. I'm not gonna really gonna do anything else. Uh, I'm all comic. I'm all fan expoed out. Uh, today's the last day, so after that, I'm ha on the way home. All right, that's it. I'm on my way home now. Left about 12 p.m. I left Fan Expo. Got it. Picked up a couple other things. I bought a Batman action figure from that's based on the Christian Bale fig figure. I picked up a a Blu-ray of X-Men Evolution, the complete series. I uh, got a couple picture, a few pictures of some cosplayers I thought were pretty cool. And that's it. Now I'm on my way home. Got a nice five, six-hour drive ahead of me.